Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker will hit the theaters on December 20th. We all know that Star Wars is science fiction, right? But we also wonder whether there is any scientific truth underpinning the action. What if some of the cool special effects and phenomena such as lightsabers, the Death Star, and of course the Force could happen for real? Could we as humans here on planet Earth ever dream of having such power at our fingertips? The answer that we need to look at is what is the Force? Now, the Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us, it penetrates us, it binds the galaxy together. How does this compare with the laws of physics in our world? In reality, the four known fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong force, and the weak force, do in fact keep our world and ultimately our galaxy and universe together and functioning. However, these are probably not the forces we're looking for. Old Ben Kenobi, Yoda, and eventually Luke, could communicate telepathically over large distances and move objects with their minds. Are these feats possible? Einstein's theory of relativity puts some strict limits on how fast we can communicate. The ultimate speed limit is the speed of light. So, if you needed to send a message to Alderaan to warn the citizens of an imperial attack, there would always be a delay. Still, this idea does find some basis in the theory of quantum entanglement in physics. In simplest terms, quantum entanglement involves the invisible linking of two particles. Here, when one moves, the other one does as well, despite being separated by distance. In theory, this could be similar to the Jedi's ability to move objects with only a slight hand gesture. Einstein didn't like this idea since it was spooky action at a distance. It's true. The Force, the Jedi. All of it. It's all true. There is a catch, though. The effects of quantum entanglement tend to be very small for everyday objects. If Kylo Ren was a physicist, he could manipulate a few particles of light to become quantum entangled, but stopping a laser beam in its tracks would be more difficult. So although we may not ever be able to control the universe with the agility of a Jedi Master, we do this on a smaller level on a nearly daily basis. In that sense, the Force actually is with you all the time. Theoretically, there could be an advanced civilization out there in a galaxy far, far away that could somehow amplify the forces produced because of these quantum interactions. It could mean with enough amplification that using the force would transition from science fiction to science fact, at least for them. But how could an intelligent microscopic life form allow a person to have magical brain powers? Let's examine midichlorians. Without the midichlorians, life could not exist, and we would have no knowledge of the Force. They continually speak to us, telling us the will of the Force. How possible is that? Well, more possible than you may think. Studies in recent years have estimated the ratio between the number of bacteria cells in a human body and the number of human cells. The numbers range between 1 to 1 and 100 to 1, meaning 100 bacteria cells for every human cell. A fact like this raises the question, what is a human organism? Is a human really a collection of many organisms in one? But they couldn't affect our brain, right? Well, there are parasites that can take over animals. A dramatic example of this is the lancet liver fluke. During the course of its remarkable life cycle, it inhabits snails, ants, and herbivorous mammals, such as cattle. The parasites infiltrate the ants' brains and convince the ants that they should climb to the top of blades of grass. This will happen every night until the ant is eaten by a host in which the parasite can fully mature. So. There's some truth in the idea behind the force from a certain point of view, as Ben Kenobi would say. What is known about our physical world is fascinating, and the forces that are all around are fantastical in their own right. With understanding, and when taken to the next level through technology and research, our world could be closer to the science fictional world of Star Wars.
I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then hit the like button and subscribe to Googleplex for much more to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.